G'day fellas and welcome to patch day. It is an unexpected patch day, but a welcome one. We've got a few balance tweaks and some bug fixes, some actual big changes as well to FFA Nomad. So if you're into, into that mode, then stick around because we've got some big stuff to talk about. So let's get into it. Uh, so for the general stuff, they've fixed an issue where scouts can skip their reload animations. So a little bit of a, I guess you could say it's a bit of a, a, a nerf to the rules in that regard. AI updates. Unique AI names have been shortened to use less screen space because they were getting pretty long out there. AI updates again for Nomad mode. Fix a problem in Nomad where building your town center too close to an AI's TC could cause the AI to stop playing. Now the AI will just go build in a different location. There you go. UX and UI added a separate free-for-all map pool which contains Mega Random and Land Mega Random only. This pool has one veto and is used when a free-for-all match is found in Quick Match. We plan to look at how best to expand this pool in future with maps which are more appropriate for the free-for-all experience. Clap, clap, clap. My lord, they listened and how quickly they put this in. I am so impressed. I, I went into the game to start it up to see if it's already in. It's, it's already in. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got map votes. You've got FFA map votes. And you can pick, do you want land mega random or do you want me mega random? So you, you can just vote. And now remember... Every land mega random game will only be land. However, mega random will sometimes be land, sometimes be water, sometimes be rivers. You've got different options with mega random. I'm just, while we're here, I'm just going to go through a couple of different cycles of mega random and, and just have a look and see what we've actually got. Uh, because what you can do is you can you can't necessarily forecast what's going to happen, but what we can do is look at the revealed map, put another player on it there, and just get a bit of an idea. Uh, but what we can do, keep going through the list. So they fixed an issue on Xbox consoles where a permission dialogue would show, okay. Fixed an issue on Xbox, cool. Fixed a bug where player, where if the player views a replay from someone else's profile, after the, the replay, they were viewing their own profile. Now, after replay, players will view the profile that originally started the replay from. I'm going to be honest. I This is something I've noticed and I've never once thought of this as an issue. And I've got a list of about 700 other things related to replays that are issues, but this wasn't on the list, but... At the end of the day, I will 100% take this. Thank you. Uh, reduced rose sigil size. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And fix the soft lock that may occur. Cool. Let's take a look at our first generation of... There you go. That's This is mega random. So this is not mega random uh, land. This is just mega random. And you can see we've already got... I, I don't think you could put a dock in here for the deep sea fish. And I don't think you could get any docks in here. Definitely couldn't get a dock in here because the wood's blocking it. You guys get the picture, right? It's mega random. So sometimes it is just going to be absolutely crazy. Let's restart. I don't know if it actually changes the maps or not. I just realized that I'm uh, I'm showing my name. I think this is my new name. I don't know if I played on uh, played with this name yet. Because uh, I, I, there's, there's quite a bit of content that will be coming out to you guys over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, okay. So it's the same map. Um, so there's a, quite a bit of content that will be coming out to you guys over the next week or so. Which will all be on... Um, like random random maps that I was basically playing on in uh, over the last patch. There's some really good games in there as well. But let, let's keep moving on. So remappable hotkeys, you can now assign all of these. General changes and bug... Oh, we got balance changes as well. General changes and bug fixes. A bug... Fix a bug that required using parameters on Steam for older PCs to avoid a crash during launch. I actually saw this on Reddit. Uh, fix an issue where Springles received extra damage from Horsemen and Mangoes. That's good. A, a, a buff to Springles is always welcome. Uh, fixed an issue where the HRE prelate UI counter wasn't displayed and fixed a sync error that would occur when using the it was known sheet in a multiplayer match. So just a couple of bug fixes. Let's ju jump in again and have a look. And so here you go. This is our next nomad um, spawn. Now this is obviously mega random and you can see we've got a lot of water in here. I, I would love a spawn like this because this is just, you're just inviting nice fast castle timings. Um, and, and that's the kind of spawn you can get. Look at the amount of resources up towards that top side. Uh, but obviously, it, it spawns differently for eight players. Um, it won't always be exactly the same as, as, as that. But uh, let's get into the balance changes. Arrow ship food costs reduced from 90 to 80. Sprinkled ship food costs reduced from 120 to 110. This is an interesting change because normally when it comes to being on... When you're on the water, food is not an issue. So I don't really see this as like... If, if anything, this is kind of pushing you towards castle. Because now, if you make 10 arrow ships, you've saved 100 food. Uh, and if you've made 10 sprinkled ships, then you've saved 200 food between the two. Um, so that maybe means you can go close or faster the castle. Uh, just typically because when you're on water and making arrow ships and sprinkled ships, you already have so much food coming through from your fishing boats. So there you go. Um, I, I, I don't really know why this change has come through, but sure. 
Abyssid Dynasty, Culture Wing. Medical centers now applies a healing aura to town centers as well as keeps. This is actually a, a really, really good upgrade that not a lot of people give enough respect to, myself included. Um, healing centers or medical centers is absolutely insane because it heals nearby units for two health every second, but it's also when they're in combat. And that's pretty big when you think about it, right? Like, so I, I can definitely see a world where Fast Castle becomes... I, I shouldn't say Fast Castle, but Castle Age Culture Wing becomes a lot more relevant, especially uh, Imperial Age. Like, th this is a big thing, especially on the defense. Um, up against Mangonels, like a single Mangonel shot, and if that's into your units and you've got medical centers, that's going to heal you up a massive amount. Like, when you think about it, a Mangonel's doing, like, what, 12 damage uh, to, um, to units that aren't ranged? Uh, 36 if they are ranged, so it's definitely going to take its toll on those. But anyway, uh, this is definitely a cool change. And further buffs to the Abyssid Dynasty. Bit of a weird one, but at the same time, still, uh, like, it's a welcome thing, right? It kind of reminds me of the, um, the fresh foodstuffs change. I mean, that wasn't really a weird one. That was, that was like, a very direct buff. Uh, Ayubids corrected an issue where Tower of the Sultan would lose blacksmith upgrades after researching incendiary arrows. Fair enough. Byzantines... Okay, increase the mercenary contract research... They nerfed it already. <laughs> increase the mercenary contract research time from 0 to 10 seconds to allow for adjustment in case of misclick. Okay, this isn't a bad... I, I, I like this. I think this is a reasonable change. Uh, obviously, I did post that um, recent video where we talked about the Byzantines and how strong they were in the early game. Um, and now, you know, they're 10 seconds slower before the longbows come out. And it might not seem like a lot, but it will make the difference. It might be an extra little bit of gold you can gather. It might be a villager that stays alive now instead of one that died before. So this is um, this is definitely a good change, I think, because the Byzantines were very powerful coming out of the gate. Dramon cost reduced from 110 down to 100. Uh, that's the food cost. So that's in line with your standard um, changes. I don't actually... I'll, I'll be honest. I have no idea what the Dramon does. I've never used it once. Um, so I should probably, I should probably look into that. English. Now, the reason, the reason I'm going down, like, so slowly is because I, I just want to see what the updates are for that civilization. I, I don't, oh my, oh my god, English. Campfire has now been removed from the Manor Arms and can now be found on the Scout. Campfire now shines brighter with an increase in sight from three to five tiles. Campfire now has team color on the minimap. Abbey of King Landmark now automat- Abbey of King's Landmark now automatically queues a free king upon completion of the landmark. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Have they finally made it viable? Have they finally made it viable? Give me a second. I, I, I need to see how long it takes to queue because I've got a feeling we could be seeing English players rushing to get to Feudal Age. Would that make sense, though? Would you would you really want to rush feudal just to get your king out faster? Yeah. Okay, hold on. In a jiffy. So let's get our, our speed down. I'm going to get my town center here. I'm just going to plonk it. I'm going to put a couple of houses down, and I'm just going to make a whole bunch of vills here. And we're just going to rush this town center up. But the thing is, I need to turn off in a jiffy. So it heals all nearby friendly units that are... Out of combat by plus six every one second. May also crown a king. Uh, may also crown a king. Always crowns a king. Crowns a king. Thank you. A powerful cavalry leader with a healing or accused production of a free king upon completion. Okay, so the the sooner that you complete this, now it says queues, which means it's not going to be instant. It's going to throw it in the queue. Delete those bills. All right, so you can see it's it's 35 seconds. So the cost is still 100, 100, which means if you lose it, you're still going to have to pay that much, but you get it for free now. So my question is, do we see English players rushing for, to Feudal Age with like six, seven, eight... Vil Probably not, right? Like, surely not. You don't... I mean, you don't see that with the French, but... But the French have to save up resources, whereas here, like, you can just do it... And put how early can you get the age up in? Would you would you guys mind if I just quickly did that? We can read the other patch notes while we do it. I I, I want to see like how early can we get an age up in on Dry Arabia? Uh, if we just make it a standard game mode, right? Like let's pretend we're playing ranked queue, okay? And I'll go for the fastest age up possible, okay? And well, not not the fastest age up possible, but I want to go for the fastest king possible. Is is it going to actually be a viable strategy? So. Um, we, we're going to read through the rest of these. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to keep you guys here while I do it. I need to know, though. I need to know right now. Okay, so we're throwing everybody over here. There we go. And now one vil out over here. 
uh, and we will, we can probably just do, I think it's like that. You guys come back here and English scout, go, go do your best, my friend. So we're going to go into the middle of the map first. All right. And you, you can grab that one. Cool. So we're going to go for the, the fastest age up possible, which is a 9-2 opening. This is a really nice opening that just kind of guarantees that you're going to have a very quick age up. And normally you'd go into a two or into two villages on the landmark um, when you're doing this age up because you're because you're aging up so quick. It just means that you, there's like there's less villages, right? So um, yeah, it, it's just the most common thing that you see is only like two villages and then to, into a second TC. I thought we got that. Wait, was that another one over here? No, it wasn't. Just keep in mind, I am playing against an AI. I'm not actually going to play this entire game out, right? Like, I, I'm only just playing the start of this this game out. That That's all you're going to be seeing. It's it's all, all the question I've got is just how quick can we get a king on the enemy gold? That's that's pretty much it. Um, and can I just check? Sorry, ju just to do it. I want to go into the tech tree. I want to see how long does it take to train a, a royal knight from the French uh, school of cavalry. Cavalry. It's 35 seconds, but remember, it's 20% faster. So it's probably not 35 seconds. It's probably... Well, it's obviously not 35 seconds. It's probably something like 28 seconds, I would assume. Well, actually, no, that would be 20% off. So maybe 29 seconds, somewhere around that. Anyway, it's um, it's it's going to be slightly quicker. So we're going to have to... We're about six seconds later. But I guess the advantage is that now you're playing the English. And I think this is going to be a big thing for FFA as well. You're probably going to see players... I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm probably going to start abusing this. You go for the Abbey of Kings just to open... Oi, get out of here, mate. Um... You go for the Abbey of Kings just to open with. Well, that was a little bit of idle time right there. I think about two seconds. Not good. So you go for the Abbey of Kings to open with. And you kind of put pressure on the same way Joan of Arc does. Or the same way... Oh, it's, it's kind of like the um the Ayubids. How they put on pressure with the military wing. It, it kind of reminds me of that. Um, so these two vills... We don't even need to leave them here. I mean, what, what, what would be the follow-up to it? You could go Fast Castle. You could go Second TC. Maybe we just do Second TC. Uh, let's let's hand in that gold. Perfect. Abbey of Kings. Let's go. How many vills is that? Ten vills, baby. Okay, so this this is a pretty quick age up right here. So we, we're just keeping enough vills on food to put on or to put the uh, uh, vills in the queue. That's all we care about. Ten vills on the age up, man. So what's what's the follow up from here? I, f I feel like maybe a second TC. You could buy yourself some space and then go into archers off that. A little bit of idle time there, but we're okay. This is insanely quick. Holy moly! All right, let's let's go find. Now remember, it's also going to have to go into queue as well. Uh, but yeah, this is um, it's pretty close here. I mean, we're not going to have to throw that one villager there. So I think from here you put these guys over onto wood maybe a couple out on, on over to stone did, did we were we idle that whole time I think we were silly drongo and then so maybe just follow it up with a town center have we got five out here we'll go five out here and then we'll just rally is this your gold don't tell me this is your gold mr oh no that's your gold mr juicy legacy player you got double front gold oof painful all right so our time this is a pretty good timing on this three minutes 40 okay i hate to be that guy but how long is it going to take me to get the town center up can i can i can i, can I just quickly check because we're assuming perfect perfect macro right this is, this is a quick king man this is a super quick king look at this wait we're four minutes into the game most people haven't even aged up yet king just casually coming out here marching across the map hey bro not only did i get not only did i come out for free i've also got my healing already through uh now does it this act no okay I, for some reason i was thinking it acted as a monastery how many hits does it take to kill i think it's three hits isn't it wrong one what? wrong one wrong one yeah wrong one okay that's absolutely busted that's that's kind of early dude Okay, all right. I I can't believe that, man. We're not we're not going to kill this guy. Let's let's keep going out to here. Remember, we don't want to lose health, but we can lose health. That's the good thing about the king, cuz the king once he's out of combat, get in there, boy. Let's go around the back. Boom. See you, mate. Sit down. Dude, this town center is pretty quick as well. Look at this TC timing. 
So what's the play after this? You, you, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to go any further than, than this, right? But So now we're healing. How, how much are we healing? Is it two health per second? Yeah, it's two health per second when we're outside. Yeah, it heals it by two every... Like, we can, we can dive hard. But beautiful. Look at that. If, if, you're, if you're really skilled, you can actually... Dude, look at the timing on this. That, that was with 10 vils on the age up, and I'm just going to throw down the TC right here. 520. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> English is going to be cracked, dude. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> dude. That's crazy. Dude, they, you know the wild part? It's like, normally they talk about this stuff. They never even mention that, man. That's wild. How did they come up with that? That's kind of crazy, dude. That feels really good. 525 on the TC is pretty quick as well. Normally, you'd be looking at about a 445 for English, like, fastest. Uh, actually, was it 445 before the change? I think it was 445 when TCs cost 300. That's wild. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> I'm speechless, man. Barkshi Palace Lamp. Gosh. Barkshi, I can't even think because of the Abbey change. The, the, the big thing for me is that you're hitting so fast and yet you can still get a second town center so quickly behind it. So if they make spears, you can just keep those 10 vils on wood, put the second town center on gold if you want or on, on deer, and then you can just dro drop down an archery range and you're all good, dude. Like, sure, the, the council hall's nice, but you don't need it, man. Like, the Abbey of Kings actually gives you stuff now. That's wild. Dude, I'm totally going to be playing Abbey of King openings now. This is going to be oppressive as hell. All right. Berkshire weapon landmark weapon or Berkshire palace landmark weapon range bonus reduced from 15 tiles to 14.5 tiles. Why did they make this change? I'm assuming they made this change just because the difference between 16 tiles and 15 tiles is very small. Whereas the difference between 16 and 14.5 is slightly bigger. And it just, and then 16 tiles is the range of a trebuchet. And sometimes it can be a bit awkward getting it to shoot at the Barkshire, you know, with, with all, all the line of sight and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and Wingard Palace Landmark. Wingard Footman cost changed from 200 food, 500 gold to 300 food, 400 gold. I still don't like this. I still don't like this. I feel like there's not enough synergy here with the English, um, with the English bonuses, right? Like, to me, if you want me to go for this Landmark in the late game... I do like that the train time got reduced here, but to me, my thinking is if you want me to go for this landmark in the late game, you need to make it so that the footman, the footman, 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 um, the, the cost is reversed, right? Like 500 food, 200 gold. The, the, this is definitely getting closer, but I, I, it's still too much gold, man. I, 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 got, I got so many other things to spend my gold on. I'm not thinking about, oh, you know, maybe I'll go for the Wingard Palace and get some footmen out for 400 gold a pop. They're good units, don't get me wrong, but they're not that good. All right, let's keep on moving. So overall, English changes are absolutely cracked. Like, I, I can't believe that change, dude. Wow. I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I was kind of like throwing up, do I even really want to make a video about the the patch? And I, I, I like went through it. And I'm like, ah, you know, it, it doesn't look that long. Maybe not. And then I was like, ah, all right, we'll just do it. That that single change is just mind blowing to me. Uh, French, war cog food reduced. War cog food cost reduced. War cog. Jeez, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, Joan of Arc, Smithy's Grace, the French civilization bonus that provides free blacksmith upgrades, is no longer no longer granted to Joan of Arc. That's a good change, dude. Because at the moment, the French, um, the, the French are quite weak with regard to win rate, whereas Joan of Arc pops off. So just this one little change, you might not think it's a big deal, but it is. It now means that Joan has to research those upgrades. It's going to slow down ranged armor. Uh, or maybe they won't even go for that upgrade before ranged armor. So now it's just going to mean that they're, they're, it's all this extra time that you're not fighting against them with plus one. It's a small little thing, but it, it will add up. That is for sure. Order of the Dragon. Battering Ram build time reduced from 70 seconds to... Good change. Really, really good change. And th this is just going into that whole idea of th their units were building as fast as normal units. And yet their units cost twice as much. So this is such a smart change. Shout out to the devs. Very well done there. Uh, Ottomans, Grand Galley food costs reduced from 150 to 135. Rus, Kremlin's default arrow and garrison arrow weapon range reduced from 8 to 7 tiles. Okay, it's a small change. Probably not going to do a whole lot, but I will take it. it. We're working in the right direction here. Good to see it didn't go up. Ongoing. 
Known issue. We've seen reports of players attempting to queue for free for all in a party receiving a server error message. Party play is currently not supported while queuing for an FFA match and the option to... S party play is currently not supported while queuing for an FFA match. Does that mean they don't want you to play with your friends? And the option to select the FFA match type should be disabled while in a party. Hold on. So if I'm in a party, I should not be able to select FFA match type. Currently, the option is not disabled properly. And the server error is preventing teams from entering the FFA queue. This is intended, and we plan to make a future fix to disable the FFA option in these circumstances. Wow. This is actually... I, I don't use this word often, but is this based? Is this red-pilled? I'm, I'm using that word ironically for anybody wondering. Like, uh, that, that's not my political affiliation, but like... I can't believe this is the... I, I, I thought the stance of the devs was almost certainly that, you know, they wanted people to play with friends, so naturally you could queue up with three of your best friends. Like me and Louis MT and uh, Marine Lord and Beastie were all queuing up and just absolutely destroying everybody else in the lobby, and then we just all resigned to, to Marine Lord and so he could collect his ELO. Uh, that's not the case. So it means that if I go into... If, if I go in, in here, I'm not going to be able to select Nomad FFA... If I'm in a party, I 100% support these changes. 100%. I love this idea. This is really good. My, my only fear, and, and this is something um, that I, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen a lot of in FFAQ. Like, I've played a lot of FFA games so far. I've played, what, a total of 36. And I would say, I, I actually, I'm not even joking, I get more dodges in ranked queue against me when people see okay this guy's conqueror three they will just dodge straight away um i get more people dodging in ranked queue and that's against one person again than i've had in ffa and that's with eight people in the lobby so that's one thing but my fear is that you're gonna have people like me and fitzbro as an example right we're probably not going to do this um let's say we want to play in the same game together so we queue up at the same time uh, and I don't get, like, we don't get in the same game. Fitz's lobby pops before mine. So I stop my queue, but Fitz has to leave his game. And then that, as a result, I mean, then he just gets a timer for five minutes. And then it just keeps increasing, right? Then it, then it's 15 minutes. And then it's, what, 30 minutes. Then 60 minutes. So that's probably... I th Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably going to be fine, right? Like, because it, it can very easily just find an eighth person to slot in the queue. Like, sure, it will... It, you, you're gonna uh the dodge will occur but i still think people are gonna be like or, or the, the game will just throw someone else in straight away i think this will be fine I, i'm curious what you think though I, I i like this i like this a lot I, I, i'll be honest i was thinking more in the future with this change and i i knew that the devs initially when it came out were like you know what we, we want people to be able to queue with their friends and I, I was thinking more long-term and I was like, okay, my hope, my dream is like maybe for season eight, season nine, we could have ranked FFAQ, which would be a uh, single queue, right? Like you can't queue in a party. That that was my thinking. That was my hope. But we don't even have to worry about that now. This is FFAQ just got a lot more sweaty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. Get, get your sweat out. I, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. This is a really good change. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, nothing else here. What's on the horizon? Nothing else. It yeah, that's it. Okay, so overall, the big thing for me here is obviously the changes to FFA are really nice changes. Not only do we get uh, changes to the maps, um, where we now get Mega Random and Land Mega Random, we also now get a big change. Uh, oh my god, I can hear him. He's at my door. He's, he was banging at the door. Uh, but we also get the change to the... the <laughs> that, that's my son for anybody wondering. Uh... We also get the change for the FFA queue, which is kind of wild. But to me, the the, the biggest change has got to be that English change. I, I can't believe this change, dude. This is absolutely insane. Did, did they make the graphic here for the English? No, it's not for the English. There he is. Hey, little buddy. How you doing, mate? He's, <laughs> he's got he's got his he's got this like little backpack that's a giraffe. And it's um we, we got it from when we we're going through the airport. And it's got like the little uh, the little What's it called? The handle on the back? Not the handle, but it's like a leash almost. It's a detachable leash, but you know, I, you got to remember, he, he wants his freedom, but at the same time, I don't want him to 
get whisked away somewhere or to, to run off into a flight he's not really welcome on. Uh, but it's uh, it's very cute. Anyway, we'll leave it there. That is going to be it. I'm excited about the English. The English just got serious, dude. This is absolutely wild.